Hello survivors and welcome to We Who Survived. My name is James and today we're going to be starting a new Fallout Frost run. So for this run I'm actually using the Stave Frosty Wabajack in all of its glory. Um, I've turned off one mod because of a known bug which is in the Nexus and not going to be addressed most likely. Other than that this was supposed to be a charisma based uh, settlement focused run but I think I'm going to scrap that idea in terms or in favor of attempting to do my first permadeath run so the stats are actually going to be skewed more towards strength and agility to start out um, namely in favor of carrying stuff and running away from things so that's what we're going to sort of roll out with as the idea uh, probably be some deaths along the way some restarts along the way but We'll see what happens and we'll see how it goes. So let's dive into Stay Frosty. I'm excited. Just let go. It'll all be over soon. It's just nuclear war, really? Could that actually happen? You think? <sighs> Here we go. Right. Time to do some mod settings. So here is how we are gonna head out, ladies and gentlemen. I've named our survivor Gerald. Uh, he's a rather old man with long hair. So it's hard to tell with the EMB in this room, but he does have gray silvered out hair. Uh, it's got some good scarring on him, the long hair, because, well, it's hard to survive out here and get a haircut. Right now, he's naked. Um, but yeah, so it is. I'm thinking for starts, oh yes, our special by the way. Leaning primarily strength and agility instead of endurance because we can carry more like armor to protect ourselves and we can run away more. Uh, even with endurance eight, you're still one shot to a lot of stuff. So, and we're leaning intelligence for experience this time instead of luck. So we're going to be increasing that down the road and quite a few of these base stats actually. As far as starts, I'm thinking we will go with the highway. It's what I've tested the most. I've never really gone outside of it too far and like tested it in that regard, at least not in a way that was successful. So I don't know exactly what we are going to do. But we're going to check it out and see how this goes. The year is 2082. You've regained consciousness. Remembering nothing but three names in your mind. Troy Bishop, Marcus Ashar, and Al Duval. Something about their names seemed familiar. But you couldn't quite put a finger on it. Regardless, you find yourself out into the wastes with the company of three men, determined to hunt down your prey. But something has gone seriously wrong. Alright, first things first, we start with a blindfold on. Boom, we don't need it. Alright, we're gonna sneak instantly, because there's usually enemies on the other side of the bridge. Oh, nice. That's actually quite a score. Alright. And come here to get our gas mask. Ooh, and a gun. Very nice. Have our survival kit with us. Um, let's read these journals. Wanted, alive. Troy Bishop, Marcus Ashar, Al Six Nails Duval. 
Reward, $10,000 or equal value in ammo or meds. Bounty issued by Ganon the Drifter. This bounty's the real deal. $10,000? Come on, these ain't your run-of-the-mill smugglers. Heard it off a defected remnant. These boys move some big package, a weapon of some sort. This package? That's what Ganon's after, not the smugglers. So we get the package, we can bypass raiding Lexington altogether. That shit's worth way more than 10k. So now we're gonna see what's up here on the bridge with us before we hop off. Here's about where we are. So the trouble is I didn't go high charisma. The best way to get downtown would be to have high charisma and talk our way in through Valenti Station. But that's not an option. So we pretty much gotta go through one variation of Park Station. I know that there's like the sewer entrance or whatever that's over by Hangman's Alley down here. So that's potentially something we could find to get downtown. But no matter what, I think we're gonna have to go through an enemy infested area. So I think our best focus is, is to not focus on downtown right now, as much as we need that. Um, if anything, we might consider Sanctuary for the Your Special Book, and it is relatively calm at Sanctuary, outside of a few enemies. And then we can potentially gain a companion, which would be mighty useful. Um, the trouble is the road to Sanctuary is a little bit rocky. It's not, I mean, I guess none of these roads are very clean, so. But we do need to get somewhere and hunker down. The other problem with Sanctuary is it's like the farthest place possible from downtown. So if we get hunkered down up here, and then we ever want to like make this a regular thing, that's a long trip. And if we have stuff to haul, that may not be the best idea. Um, should maybe like try to find a survivalist bunker don't remember exactly where that was, but it's somewhere in and along here, I believe. That might be an option. Um, I'm gonna have to Google real quick and see. Well, I can't seem to find the information I need, so we're just sort of gonna have to... Just sort of gonna have to go as it is here. Um, let's see what we have up here with us on the bridge. Maybe just dead enemies, which is actually stupid rare. Wow, okay, that's insanely heavy, so that may or may not be able to happen. Sounds like we have a storm rolling in. And we've got to be careful. Oh man, we're tired already. Okay, we've got another note to read, a torch. I don't think we need the torch. Yeah, we don't. We have a pit boy light. So we don't actually need to carry that torch. Okay, this weighs less. So we'll take a look at that. I'm not sure if that food paste actually does anything for hunger or not, but I would guess not. Okay, so we're gonna drop that one. Twelve of twelve, so we have quite a bit of ammo. Um, before we jump down anywhere, I guess, let me make sure we finish this off. I know that there's no one up here now. I 
I think for now our best way up is north and we'll probably try to run towards Sanctuary. If we can make it towards Sanctuary, we got the Your Special. We can maybe get a companion. So there's a lot of potential upside to Sanctuary right away. Um, the road can be rather perilous, but we'll see about that. I know there's usually wolves here. Can't guarantee that's the case still after the update, but I imagine so. Okay, we've got this M1 Garand. We've got 13 rounds for it. Oh no. Alright, looks like we're down here. Whether there's wolves or not, we're down here. Oh, and we're heading the wrong way, so we gotta head this way. Definitely have a rad storm rolling in. That's not good news. That's not good news at all. I really want to get running, but I know that there's wolves and wildlife in this area specifically. Gotta keep a watch for mines too. These look like mines. I'm very paranoid. Let's tuck in here real quick. See if there's anything. Ooh, a psycho buff. All right. Sounds like that storm's really starting to roll in and get closer. Wondering what's up here. The trouble is, it looks civilized. And don't want to be disturbing anyone. Oh, okay, we have some destroyed houses right there. Oh, this is Grey Garden? What is this? Okay, there's some fellow survivors here. Don't seem too happy with our presence. Okay, well there should be some food and water in here at least. There should be something for us. A battered clipboard. I've heard that pencils are now just miscellaneous and they're not junk, so let's confirm that. Okay, and what about our clipboard? Our clipboard still gives us wood. Definitely gonna need turpentine for bandages, so... Mentats. That's great for sanity. Thought there was some cram or something in here, usually. Ah, there we go. Blamco and Cram. Okay, that's not too bad. Alright, unfortunately we can't get down there. That's expert lock.
All right, so we've managed to avoid those survivors. Uh, we looted the homestead for some food. Unfortunately, we don't have water and we are parched. Do have bottles. And we could fill them up here, but as of right now, we don't have anywhere to cook them. You know what? I don't think we're desperate enough yet to start drinking dirty water. So we're going to keep heading up our way towards Sanctuary. And we're going to see what happens. Some sort of huge boom off in the distance. I don't know exactly what that was, but it's not confidence inspiring. We come upon here, Jalbert Brothers? Or what is this? Oh no, we're in it now. What is it here, mole rats? Okay, well what I do remember is that sometimes don't have any bobby pins. Ah, that tool chest usually has something useful. <laughs> Alright, I don't know that we want to deal with even the mole rats right now. Oh god, but they want to deal with us. Here they come. I feel like I keep hearing people behind me or something. Oh yeah, there's the mole rat. Oh no, how many are there? not looking good for us. We are already almost dead. Might have to take this psycho buff. If we drink the bourbon, I think we're going to get more dehydrated. So I don't think we can afford to take the bourbon right now. The rest of that is a go. Fucking okay, we've got about half our health. We're not too bad injury wise. What is this? Is this anything to be discovered? Oh, I was going to say, I feel like I hear an enemy above me. Sure enough. Rad roaches? Where are they at? Oh, it's a little guy. Holy cow. Little guy. Did some damage though. We're extremely lucky we didn't get poisoned from that. Another one? intelligence for experience whoa where's this other other little rad roach at
Oh, wow, there's a big boy. What's up, Chungus? Oh, it's a couple of them. Oh, jeez. No, this is not good. Dang it. Ate another one. Okay, not too bad. We're doing all right. Probably mostly because we have almost no health. Our endurance is so low. Nothing in the station wagon, of course. We're really not that far from Sanctuary. Look at this. What do we have here? A couple of dead folks in their empty wooden crate already looted. All right, we need water bad. We're thirsty. I think after this we get dehydrated. So we may have to uh, resort to dirty water here pretty soon. Huh, property of some sort. Could go see what this property is. Look, I've been thinking about this for a long, long time. I know what I'm talking about here. Bulls, you can't just put something between two pieces of bread and claim it's a sandwich. Does that mean a loaf of bread is technically a bread sandwich? Technically, yes, but you wouldn't eat it all. So it doesn't matter. How you hold it matters. Talk all you want, man. You put that piece of my alert meat between two pieces of bread. But it still ain't a sandwich. Well, what the hell would you call it then? Disgusting. That's what Okay, it looks like we found a small survivor encampment. I'd be interested in checking them out to see what they have. But I'm not so sure it's worth the battle right now. really need some water at this point Let's see we better hope these guys had some all right it looks like it was just two it sounded like three they got some decent armors but nothing that we have the carry weight for I've just dropped the time scale, so our needs should be more realistic. I wish I'd done that at the beginning, because now we're paying for it with mild dehydration, but so it goes. All right, and these guys had basically nothing, unfortunately. Nothing that I can see outside of their little armor. Look at the map. It's showing some nearby water right up here, so we're going to go see what this puddle potentially is. Gotta be very careful though.
Oh, I'm gonna have to throw the bottle fill mod on here. Oh, that's so bad. I think we're gonna have to drink it. Well, we're down to parched, so that's a start. We're very close to Sanctuary. We might be able to make it. Okay, we found the Drumlin Diner. And it appears to be infested with ghouls. I don't know why nothing happened. It says this thing has four shots, but for some reason after two shots... Yeah, it says it has four. I had reloaded. I got two shots and then nothing else, so... I guess we're gonna wrap that up for episode one, and we are gonna begin again. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next episode.